What's up, I'm Morgan Alley, and this is Aronde Vassal. We're here with Oak and Stone Clothing. This is the first installment of Oak and Stone Workouts. Today I'm taking Aronde through one of my calisthenics routines. Before we get into the routine, why calisthenics? For me, I chose calisthenics for a few reasons. One, I love the skills training. I love the progressive training from a push-up to a planche push-up. Two, calisthenics differs from weightlifting and the fact that weightlifting focuses on power and strength, where calisthenics focuses on fast twitch muscle fibers, explosive movements, and relative strength to body weight. So with that being said, let's get into the workout. The first exercise is gonna be squat jumps. Squat jumps are great because you get the, the squat with your legs, but the explosive movement coming up. So uh, squat down deep, as deep as you can and explode when you come up, land softly on your feet, and uh, let's get into it. Let's go for 10. All right, you ready? Always, here we go. <laughs> so the next exercise is a pike push-up. Uh, this is a good progression uh, into elevated pike push-ups, which progresses into handstand push-ups. Uh, but this is a great progression and good for shoulders. So with pike push-ups, you're going to get yourself into a V-shape like this, straight legs, and you're going to push up to the crown of your head, touches the ground, and then back up. Perfect form every time, full range of motion is crucial. Wanna jump into something? Yeah. Okay. Woo. <laughs> For this next workout, we're gonna superset commando one arm negatives and L sit pull ups. The commando one-arm negative is really great progression to one-arm pull-ups. And the L-sit pull-up is a great compound movement that activates your back, your shoulders, and your core. So with the commando one-arm pull-up, we're gonna do five on each arm. With the L-sit pull-up, we're gonna go for eight. Before we get started, let me show you what those look like. And this is the L-sit pull-up. All right, for the next workout, we're gonna do straight bar dips. These are one of my favorite workouts for chest and triceps. It's also a really great exercise to work on your muscle up. At the top of your muscle up, you push up into a straight bar dip, push back down. So good control and explosiveness is crucial here. We're gonna go for 10 straight bar dips on this one. Let me show you what they look like. All right, so up on the bar, when you come down, come down with control and pop up with explosiveness as hard as you can. Made that look too easy. Come on, Morgan. I'm a beginner. You got this. Um, I had no idea like this can actually help out your muscle up because when I'm when I'm up here My body naturally wants to curve in exactly and that's like like the almost at the peak right of the muscle up So like that that's helping. Yeah, exactly. Up. Yeah, so. so you're engaging those triceps 
and then at the top of that muscle up as you know you know you come around and this is the crucial part that of the muscle it. up you know where you get over on top of that bar mm -hmm. and like you said when you're coming down on that negative slow and controlled yeah you know it, it builds that tolerance it builds that time under tension there yeah and this part is like a perfect build up yeah even with the one arm uh, commandos like again like that progression yeah so with calisthenics it's definitely like the progression right to whatever you're trying to accomplish like, exactly it's perfect bro i never would have thought of that yeah all right so the next workout is a little bit more of an intermediate to advanced calisthenics move uh we're gonna work on back lever negatives and basically what this is is a workout that helps you with your back lever holds um, and there's a few progressions to this and i'll show you what they look like you can start from the beginner moves and work your way all the way into your back back lever holds all right, so we're gonna start with skin the cat. Let me show you what that looks like. Next, we're gonna move on to single leg back lever negatives, which is the next progression up from skin the cat. And the third progression is gonna be back lever negatives with both feet. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I've never done this crap before. <laughs> so now, like, what do I do from So here? we'll start with the skin the cat. Okay. So basically, you're just gonna put your feet, just roll yourself behind the bar, and then put your feet down, and then roll back forward. in this cat right now. <laughs> <laughs> This ain't looking too good. <laughs> <laughs> boy, oh boy. Okay, now the last one. Yeah, so the last one is just the back lever negative. So same deal, but both feet just dropping down as slow as possible. Got this. <laughs> okay. Keep your body straight as a pencil. Like that. <laughs> That's it. There it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that that I mean I feel I'm feeling that in my core. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Here. A good way to approach it is to have first of all when you get upside down, straighten your body out, point your toes, and keep your chin up. So Gosh, you yeah. want to essentially flex from your chin all the way down to your toes. So everything's straight as a board because yeah. it all works together. It's a it's a big compound movement that works yes. tons of muscles. Yeah. And that's what's great about it, you know? And then you can get into holds and things like that. For the next workout, we're gonna go back to chest. We're gonna get into some archer push-ups. Now let me show you what those look like before we get into it. Down on the ground, tighten your core up. Keep those scapulas pushed forward. Get a wide stance with your fingers pointed out. And you're gonna lean to one side. All right, 
Let's go for five on uh, five on each side. Let's get it. Definitely can see that helping out with the transition to like even a bench press. Oh yeah. Cause I mean like the breathing aspect, like when you're like going down, like you know it's like a progression, it's like you, you blow out to like to excel. Right. But I can see that helping transition into like gym, like you know. Oh yeah. Thing. Right. And it isolates, you know, one side. One side. So you, yep. it's it's a lot about balance and control and just having that body muscle connection, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're one of my favorites. I love them. Oh yeah, that's a good one. All right, we're gonna finish out this workout with some core, and we're gonna be doing hanging corner raises. So let me show you what that looks like. All right, so we're gonna do 10 on each side. So let's get it. I love Scott. <laughs> you would get the camera in front of me because I'm dying. He's laughing. No. Get him. <laughs> yeah, because you're you're like you're engaged right here. Right. So that's one component. Yeah. Then you gotta work on bring your legs up and turn. Right. And just stabilization. You know. Yeah. You're, when you're when you're pivoting left and right, hits those obliques real hard. Absolutely. And then coming back down with control, just tightens that core up. You know, straight as a pencil yeah while still engaging your arms and your shoulders so another great compound movement you know like everything you did just like it's like a transition and like a build-up to i say like a muscle up like right those levers you know even with the dips like the stabilization yeah and calisthenics i think is definitely underrated right it, that i feel like it tra translates to everything right. just walking like the stabilization is just it just works perfectly with everything, you know, so this is good. Yeah. Real good, bro. Yeah, <laughs> man. It's great. Yeah. You killed it, man. Yeah, you killed it, man. <laughs> I was trying to keep up with you the whole time. <laughs> All right, so that was round one of three for this workout. Thanks for joining us and be on the lookout for more ONS workouts. <laughs> I'm dead.